questions for KK and Shayla? Todd? Maybe not for Rick McKinney one. Uh, Shayla, you've been to a few of these. Mark always talks about trying to block out distractions, and there are a lot of them in a week like this. What's your process for doing that? How do you kind of stay focused in, in where you need to be? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I honestly, I don't really change anything. I go into it like it's another weekend that we travel to. Um, and I, I think just keeping with my routine. Um, and another thing, taking care of my schoolwork before I go also really helps. But I just try to stick to the same old so there's no surprises or anything. KK, speaking of trying to stick to the same routine, is it a little different, you know, playing this so close to home? And just what are your thoughts? What does it mean to you to be able to, you know, have a chance to win a national championship in your home state? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing just making it in general for our team. But um, going back home feels awesome. And having a lot of family, friends there to support the girls, um, it's just going to feel amazing. Um, we're excited to get going and definitely have in mind a goal of winning the title. few weeks, I wonder if this this goal has kind of become a little bigger. I mean, you, you've known about this for a while, that it was going to be in New Hampshire, but when you can see it coming, does it feel like it's a, you know, a, a little bit more stressful sometimes to make sure you, you get the, the, the job done? Yeah, I mean, we were just focused on this weekend, um, and we were able to get a, a victory, which was great. Um, I guess now it's just looking forward. We know it's in New Hampshire, but... Um, Nothing changes. I mean, we just want to go out there, play Friday, play our game, win that game, and then move on to Sunday and take care of business. Uh, Shayla, curious, having, you know, going off what you were talking about, having the experience of going through this, knowing what the routine's like and that kind of thing, uh, for you guys as players, is there any difference in, in feeling a pressure, having been a part of a, a winning title, you know, and, and feeling, you know, hey, I want to go out on a high note, I want to repeat and that kind of thing. I mean, do you guys feel that in any sense? Um, yeah, maybe a little pressure just knowing, okay, we've been here before, we've done it, um, so can we defend that? But I think it's more just um, we have this experience and we have younger players who have never been here, so it's just working together, trying to bring this group um, into a situation that they've never seen before, but we have, so trying to just show them what it's like and get them prepared because it is a bigger stage and it's a different game. So I think just using our knowledge and our confidence um, is more than the pressure, yeah. KK, as far as your game right now, what, what do you like about it? What are you feeling especially good about as you, you know, head into these uh, semifinals? Yeah, just doing whatever I can to um, help our team out and you know take care of business, like I said. Um, nothing really changes, um, just playing the same game with confidence is most important definitely for myself and our team. Um, we want to play on our toes and we want to be playing downhill. So using that going into the weekend. So this is for both of you. What do you remember about playing Colgate last year? Obviously it was to get to the Frozen Four and in their barn, but you know, that environment and do you think maybe the, the style of gameplay will carry over to this, this meeting? I just remember last year, um, we were coming in kind of unseated. So we were like, all right, we're the underdogs. That's what people um, think of us. So we have nothing to lose at this point. Um, and I just remember we played confident. We played our game. And they were a tough team. They were physical. Um, and they had really good players. So I think this year, it's just going to be more of the same. Um, the stakes are a little higher being in the Frozen Four. But I think they're I know you two are obviously focused on the task at hand in the first game. But the emotions after beating Ohio State the first time that regular season were obviously really high. Is there a part motivating you about a potential you know, round six with the Buckeyes? Um, honestly, yeah, like you said, I haven't thought that far ahead. I think we're still focused on our Friday's game. Um, but there is the potential of that game happening. And it'll be exciting. It'll be tough. Um, it'll be a great game. But um, yeah, we're not there yet. So. Exactly, just like one foot ahead of the other, one thing at a time. So we're focused on Friday, but yeah, in the back of our minds, like that's a possibility for sure. I'm curious how you guys have seen uh, Viva grow specifically over the past couple of weeks and getting these opportunities in, in the postseason. I mean, uh, I know she had a, a shutout this past weekend, but how have you guys?
guys seen her adapt her game over the course of you know the season, but specifically the last two weeks? Yeah, I mean, she she's an amazing goalie, amazing teammate. But uh, seeing how much she's come this year, um, her confidence is through the roof right now, and she's playing outstanding. So um, just knowing she, we have her behind us, and hopefully she feels some trust in us too, obviously. But she is just outstanding and can't say enough great things about her, and she's feeling good coming into this weekend. Yeah, and it's great that um, she got that opportunity, and she's been delivering so far, mm -hmm. and she's been doing really well having that confidence, I think, that we need to go into the tournament. So. We're confident in her. I hope she's confident in us, and I think um, we'll give it a really good shot. Thank you. How upset are your parents and your family <laughs> to, to have the team coming closer to them this week? And can you give us some, some insight into you know, how many people might be there that you know, and uh, what kind of, have you turned them all into Badger fans? Yeah, a lot of uh, honestly old teachers, uh, skating coaches. Um, I think my driver's ed instructor's coming. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> honestly, my only concern was getting enough tickets at first. But yeah, everyone, my parents are thrilled. Um, everyone's so excited, especially being pretty much in our backyard. So it's going to be fun to have that little bit of home field advantage in a way, I guess. Anything else for our student athletes? Coach Johnson comes in, he's kind of the classic, never get too hot, never get too low, you know, at least in front of us. And I guess I'm just wondering, can you, can you both speak to the value of that and how you think that kind of, you know, trickles down to, you know, to the rest of the team, especially in, in, in weeks like this? Yeah, I think it's great um, and really impressive how level-headed he is, um, no matter what. Sometimes I kind of look over to him like, <laughs> oh, he's going to show some emotion, right? Some highs, some lows, um, and he does a little bit, but mostly it's just calm, level-headed, and it really does help us stay focused, um, kind of navigate the emotions of the game, because they're going to come up, but we can just look to him, he kind of grounds us, and he's like, all right, of course this is the game, highs and lows, it's going to happen, but we just have to keep our heads in it and stay focused. Yeah, I think it definitely rubs off on us, especially a moment I remember was, uh, I don't know if you remember last year during the Frozen Four in the semifinal we had gone down he was just like super calm on the bench and that was so important for our team and it definitely helped us in that moment and we were able to come back so um just heading to the weekend knowing we have him um very neutral and like calm it, it helps our team a lot for sure anything else thank you guys Bye. thank you, thank you. Thank you.